and welcome to Lynn TV. I'm Lucy Robson with today's main news stories from Paphos. A Paphos tour operator, which will launch 14 new services between European cities and Paphos next week, says that prices will be based on low-cost airline rates and will be very attractive. Oralia Travel and Tours is working with Greek company Cavalieros Travel on new weekly flights to seven countries. Oralia estimates that collectively they could bring 15,000 visitors to Paphos by the end of May. As of March 15th, Paphos will be linked with several of the new destinations across Europe, ahead of the launch of a full raft of 14 services by mid-April. A Paphos woman returned from Germany today after one month of intensive community-funded treatment for brain tumours. Alethea Ayres, aged 35, has been fighting melanoma since 2008. Last autumn she was given the all clear, but in January doctors told her that the disease had spread to her brain. The Paphos community has raised €33,000 through charity events to help cover the ongoing cost for Ayres' treatment. Ayres will undergo an MRI scan in four weeks to assess the success of the treatment in Germany. And this week, Cyprus Airways announced that they broke even after a government bailout of 20 million euros was approved by the House. The state approved the cash injection over losses incurred since 2004 on potentially profitable routes to Russia because the airline has not been able to use Turkish airspace. And delegates from the Paphos International Sailing Club and the Paphos Nautical Club are cooperating on the joint organization of a key sailing event this summer. Yeriski Pumeya Tazos Kuzabos is eager to promote the village as a sports tourist destination. With a view to this, he contacted the Paphos International Sailing Club last year to propose holding a regatta at Yeriskupu Beach this summer. A regatta involving the two clubs will take place on the first weekend of July. And the start of seven weeks of fasting in the Orthodox calendar started on Monday with traditional Green Monday events held at beaches across the district. The day was marked by kite flying and picnicking on non-dairy and vegetarian food at local beaches. And finally, next week, the second in a series of wine seminars conducted by renowned sommelier George Cassianos will take place in Paphos. The theme of the seminar will be the marriage of wine with Asian cuisine. The day will cover history, viticulture, grape varieties and the ageing and storage of wine. And there will also be extensive tasting and analysis plus a session on the matching of wine and sushi. For more information and booking details, follow the contacts on the screen. Well, that's all for this week's News Roundup. We'd like to remind visitors to look at perspective Cyprus and the EU. This week's video takes a look at opening up healthcare across Europe. Please follow the homepage link, and we'll be back on Monday with a fresh update of local news.